It's another interesting SEC matchup, yo. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to preview and predict Saturday afternoon's SEC matchup as you have the Ole Miss Rebels taking on the South Carolina Gamecocks. Um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you uh, want to donate to the channel, follow me on social media. Also, I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday. All that information will be down in the description box. Um, if you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Also, everybody hit the like button and share with your folks, yo. Ole Miss and South Carolina, man. This is this a really, really interesting matchup, yo. Um, you know, obviously for LSU, we took on South Carolina a couple of weeks ago. And we got Ole Miss as our next game after this one. Um, For Ole Miss, man, very, very ugly loss last week at home to Kentucky, uh, where Kentucky just got physical with them. Um, and Kentucky forced Lane to be a little conservative, yo. Lane wasn't, you know, trying to throw it all over the yard, going for it on four downs and all that other stuff. Lane was trying to hang on to win the game, man. And that usually ain't like Lane, man. That's what, what Kentucky got out of them. Um, real, real bad loss, man. You know, um, but, you know, they, they got a very explosive you know, offense, you know, led by Jackson Thart, the three-year starter. Uh, Henry Parrish, they leading back. Uh, top receiver, Trey Harris, man. Lafayette, Louisiana native, Como High School. Um, and defensively, you know, they top corner. Trey Amos, like I've mentioned before, grew up right next door to his mom. To his mom you know, um, so I know they know the, know the young man really well and his family. You know, um, so I want to see them do well, man. But um, tough game for them last week, man, against Kentucky. And for South Carolina, you know, after they had the tough loss to LSU, uh, they took they got their get right, you know, against Akron at home. Then they got a bye week, man. Um, we'll say this in defense to Ole Miss, man. The schedule makers didn't do them any favors. Uh, they got to they got to go on the road, take on a, a physical South Carolina team coming off of a bye. Then they got to go on the road, take on LSU on uh, coming off of a bye. So the schedule makers kind of stuck it to Lane a little bit, getting two straight road games, SEC road games against teams coming in fresh when they had to play the week before, yo. Um, And for South Carolina, you know, also, um, like I said, got to get right against Akron. Also got to get healthy, man. Um, Lenore Sanders, Sanders rolled his ankle against LSU. They held him out the Akron game. They held out Rocket Sanders, you know, in the Akron game as well. And um, Jared Brown been a little banged up, you know. But um, all those guys look like they're good to go for Ole Miss on Saturday, yo. Keys to this game, man. For Ole Miss, you got to protect the football, man. Um, South Carolina is a physical team, man. They they going to beat you up a, um, a little bit. And uh, you got to protect the football and play well against the run. And for South Carolina, get after Jackson Dart, man. Force him into turnovers and then just use your physical rushing attack with Sanders um, with Sanders and uh, Sellers, you know, and, and run it down Ole Miss's throat, yo. As far as my prediction, man, I think South Carolina is a really, really physical team. I think they're going to try to really get physical at Ole Miss and beat them up on the line of scrimmage and all that. I just think Ole Miss get right, man. I think, you know, Ole Miss going to do a better job of just being a little more physical. And uh, they're going to get their receivers in open space, man. I think South Carolina going to, you know, struggle to cover those receivers, man. I think they're going to give Jackson Dart enough time to throw it down the field. And I think the Ole Miss receiver is going to have a big day. Um, and I think they're going to stack the box for South Carolina to throw it. Um, I think I, I like Ole Miss going on the road to South Carolina, getting a big, big win, coming off that loss to Kentucky. Yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU, NCAA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.